how come Oreo O's taste exactly like Oreos? Because it's made by this. It's made with the same. Yeah, it's made with the same ingredients. And then I was like, and despite that, Oreos are the ones that went under, but fucking Greases Puffs are still around. Yeah. Puffs. Wait, Oreo- the Reese's Puffs have, like a disgusting greasy film. Not really, but they do. They've like t- rub them between your fingers. It's disgusting. Uh-huh. It's like I feel, I feel like it's like rubbing fried chicken, but it Ew. doesn't taste like fried chicken. <laughs> fried, chi- uh, fried chicken cereal would be delicious. They actually had that for a while. It was great. They oh had my- fried chicken and waffle cereal. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, fried chicken cereal. You eat it with gravy. Ew. Shut fried up. In fact, it's just fried chicken and gravy. Uh. <laughs> Call cereal. No, it turns your milk into gravy when you add milk. I'm gonna swing. Oh. Back to, uh, I'm gonna swing back over to Zomboid. All right. I mean, it's no less disgusting than when you pour dogs dog food and their fucking food creates its own gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that in cereal form, Raven. That's what happens when you pour milk in your cereal, goddammit. Raven. It's creating cereal gravy. Raven. What? Try, try, all, try Bachelor Chow now with flavor. <laughs> what? Try Bachelor Chow now with flavor. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. You hurt, you hurt my fucking soul right now. I'm sorry. What is that like cornflakes or something? Futurama reference. Oh, see, I don't. I didn't watch. You just heard, I didn't watch a lot of Futurama. Futurama reference, and you just you just heard me. I didn't I'm watch a lot of Futurama. Okay, God. And, and, and the best part is that was a ripoff of uh, a cereal you can find in Day of the Tentacle. Oh God. <laughs> well, I never played Day of the Tentacle, so. I never played those point-and-click adventure games that were so impossible to fucking figure out. <sighs> Alright. Always press the red button. Yeah, after you find a freaking snail that'll distract the cat long enough for you to get the candy bar to give to the fucking guard so that he can go over to the bathroom and eat it in private and then... That'll attract the monster that's living inside the toilet to kill him. Then that'll allow you to get the fucking key that's behind the toilet so you can open the case to push the red button. Oh no, see, so what you do is you ring the doorbell and have someone sneak into the kids' room, steal his hamster, <laughs> microwave his hamster, then hand him back his microwave hamster. That is a. F- that is the. I know that where that's from! Game. Yes. I, I know where that's from! <laughs> I it's... love how these point-and-click adventures turn into survival horror later on. Yeah, they do. Listen, you have to get a hold of the two. You have to get a hold of the blue and red gem and jam them into the tiger statue to get a hold of a crest. Then you need to go get a crank. It needs to be a hexagonal <laughs> crank. Don't worry about the octagonal crank that comes in later. Okay, then you need to head down. You need to get the other two crests. Place those in the wall. Then you need the uh, you need the crank so you can crank open the door so you can make it to the guardhouse. Why? Why, why is your house like this? <laughs> you have to play Moonlight Sonata so that you can get a hold of it. Welcome to Resident Evil, everyone. Yeah, exactly. It's Someone so fucking it. stupid. Right. Yeah. He's going critical.